21 Nanko. Yeah. If you're in the country, there are Chinese everywhere. They run shops, uh, they have businesses, they move around. But you can't call them China presents, I guess. This is just people doing their own work. When they coin the name China's presence, I guess they mean the SOE companies who are here to do certain work. My they have really dominated now is the construction industry. So a lot of Chinese firms, uh, construction firms have come to the country. The construction industry here now has been taken over by CCEC and you know, China Harbour, those companies. There's no way we can compete with them uh, in terms of pricing and stuff like that. So, and that's just the sheer size of the company, you know, it's huge. I think it's a real concern because if you have big um, construction happening and they're tendering for a job, I don't think it's a level playing field. Um, you know, because I think these are companies which, we, who knows how much, how much subsidy they receive from the Chinese government. I think China is not taking over Solomon Island. Uh, but I think what people will fear is that China is developing Solomon Islands. They build up uh, other facilities, uh, public facilities, uh, and, and so forth. So that's, that's a good thing for the country. According to them, they're just here to do their construction work. They don't, actually, they don't mingle at all. When I was with China Harbour, their camp is very tight. They bring people in to work. They basically work, eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep. They are not, they have zero tolerance for socialization. They're not allowed? They're basically, yeah, to avoid um, misunderstanding of cultures, getting into problems, all that. No, we are in the city, what are you doing? Can we talk to somebody? From China? Yeah. From China yeah. Harbor? Over there. Here? 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 Here?